Alrighty, thanks for swinging in. On this video, we're gonna go ahead and change the brake pads, rotors, and bearings on a 1999 Dodge Ram Sport. This is a two-wheel drive model, and the end size is a 5.2 liter, all right? This is very specific to just this particular model. I don't know about any other models. I don't know about any other issues. This is the one that I know about. This is what we're working on. I hope this helps you out. Stay tuned. Also, uh, also just real quick, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you liked it, please make a comment. If it helped you, make a comment. If there was something wrong or some way that I could have done it a little bit easier, go ahead and make a comment because you're gonna help somebody else out as well. All right, guys, thank you again. I appreciate it. If you're on your mobile phone, you have to remember to log in in order to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thing you need, I, I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn the steering wheel, I'm gonna turn the wheel towards me, and then I'm gonna go back behind, and I'm gonna do the, these, this bolt. Two. Okay, so I'm using a uh, 3 8 uh, Allen. I hope that's, that's what it's called. So the top caliper pin uh, came out and it seems good. You know, bottom one's giving me a little bit of an issue. So I'm gonna keep working on this. Uh, I've got a lot of rust on this side of my truck. If anybody has any comments or thoughts on anything about that, just give me a comment below. And uh, I would appreciate it. I'm not sure what that's all about. I have some serious rust over here. So, uh, I appreciate it. All right, with some wiggling, wiggling of the channel locks, 99% sure I've got this. So with the wiggling of the channel locks on the uh, bottom bolt, caliper, <clears throat> the bottom of the caliper, okay, see it's coming off here. And the brakes are off. I got this bucket right here from the 99 cent store. Very well worth 99 cents. And I see what it is. That this is not moving freely. This is what was on the bottom, and this is not moving freely. So this is the problem. Is to...
two-wheel drive 5.2 liter engine that's what you want to go ahead and make sure that you get for your truck because what I got was something that didn't have the, uh, the spine thing around it here so I have some caliper pins that aren't moving freely the, these bolts right here should move freely and actually they should even come out so uh, I need to uh, I'm gonna replace these I just have to figure out how to uh, get these things out. I think we're just going to whack them with the hammer. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but uh, this is kind of like the live and learn kind of thing that I, that I end up doing here. Uh, I'm going to take this quick pad off. It should just come right up. save this this is what I'm going to end up using to push the uh, cylinder back in but uh, simple to do right here. might have to reuse this one. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, take it out. The batteries. So that's the uh, the seal, the real seal. That's what this is. Right here. This goes on after you pack the bearing in there. Okay. 
that's that's this. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grease these up. And once I start this, I really can't stop because the, the grease is just so uh, invasive, all getting all over everything. out and put it in the palm of my hand
Alright. Thank you for being with me this far. <laughs>